Hello guys, Danny here from Dance Tech. In today's video guys, we're going to be having a look at a high-end CPU cooler. This one's from Cryrig. This is the R1 Universal. This cooler is very, very large. Um, you might be able to see actually on the right-hand side. Um, it is a very large cooler. It does feature two very large fans and just in general, two very large fin stacks. Seven copper heat pipes that have been nickel plated. So overall, it's um, got all the specs really to perform very, very well and also to be very quiet. Like many other of the high-end CPU cores I've checked out recently, like the Riven Okinos, the one that I've got currently installed on there, the Gamer Storm Assassin 2, and also ones like the Noctua NHT 15, which has actually been quite a while since I reviewed that one. So this is going to be one of the last um, reviews I'm going to do of a high-end CPU cooler. So I'm working on a video that's going to compare many, many high-end CPU coolers that I've reviewed in, what should I say, the past three or four months. That's going to take quite a bit to make, but overall I think it's going to be very, very good and very well, um, shall I say, received throughout the net. Well, hopefully anyway. So yeah, without further ado, we're going to get into the review of this cooler and um, yeah, see what we get in the box, see how it is to, yeah, see how easy it is to install and then go over some benchmarks on the test system with the i7 4790K at good old 4.4 gigahertz. To get started inside the box, you get the accessory box on top with the cooler in the main compartment with two large fans pre-attached. Inside the accessory box, you get all the needed mounting gear needed in addition to extra fan clips and rubber pads, CP9 thermal compound, an alcohol wipe, a two-way fan splitter cable, a custom screwdriver, and finally two instruction manuals in many languages with fantastic illustrations. Onto the cooler itself, the cooler's design is a large dual tower cooler with dual fans, more on these later. The total dimensions of the unit with the two large fans attached is 169mm in height, 140mm in width and 129mm in length, so definitely not small. The total weight of the cooler with both fans attached is just over 1.2 kilograms, so not light either. The two towers feature many aluminium fins, with a whopping 7 copper heat pipes passing through the two fin stacks. One unique feature of this cooler is that both towers feature fin stacks with varying gaps. The black fins have gaps of 1.8mm and the silver fins have a gap of 2.4mm. It'll be very interesting to see if this makes a difference when comparing it to many other high-end coolers on the market. Also, as this cooler uses plastic to cover the heat pipes, you don't get any protruding out of the top of the cooler and if anything, really makes this cooler look rather nice. Also, just a note on the RAM clearance, Cryorig have really offset this cooler and it's actually quite hard to get this thing to not fall over on a desk. With this installed, you shouldn't have any RAM clearance problems at all. Overall, the build quality is excellent and with the fancy design of the fin stacks, I really think this is not a bad design at all. Moving on to the included fans, Cryrig include two fans, both at the same size of 140mm in length. However, one is a Slimland 13mm fan, while the other is a standard 26mm thick fan, to be sandwiched between the two fin stacks. Both come with four vibration dampeners installed, so it should be somewhat vibration free. These sure are premium fans, and because of this, you can buy these individually at retailers like OC UK and also Amazon. Now, despite the difference between the thickness of these fans, both are rated to run at 1300 RPM and both have a minimum speed of 700 RPM, so this cooler should be relatively quiet throughout the full range of operation. Moving on to the installation of the R1 Universal, overall it was not bad. The manual is easy to understand and the mounting pieces are large enough for it not to be very tricky. Like many high-end coolers these days, installation starts by prepping the back plate. In this case, you want to adjust the bolt so they align with your motherboard's mounting holes. After you've done this, you can then slot it through your board and secure it into place by screwing down the four pillars. Once you've done this, you can add two mounting bars to the apparatus you've just set up and secure these into place with the four included nuts, after deciding the orientation as per the manual. The last few steps are to add a little thermal compound and to place the cooler onto the CPU. Finally, you want to screw down the retention plate connected to the cooler with the included long screwdriver. Overall, nothing too tedious and, if anything, is very simple. Now I've got the installation out of the way, we can speak performance. Now as this cooler is a dual tower cooler, I decided to run the standard high performance benchmark. That's running the Adobe Premiere Pro video render test on the i7-4790K of all cores overclocked to 4.4GHz with the auto voltage just for extra heat purposes. The cooler scored a relatively low temperature and overall makes sense for a cooler of this class. I also performed a test at 4GHz for comparison, you can see this at the bottom of the graph. Now although these results may not show this cooler is the best in its class, this cooler sure is impressive with low noise levels across the board and a very appealing design, there's no real reason I cannot recommend this cooler. Also, you do get no RAM 
problems with this cooler at all. It's totally RAM problem free, as it is so offset. In a few days, when I release my high-end CPU cooler comparison video, I'll be sure to compare this cooler to the Noctua NHD15, Riva Noconos, Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3, and GamerStorm Assassin 2, including sound comparisons. Anyhow, let's conclude. So peeps, to conclude on the CryoRig R1 Universal, overall, a very, very high performance cooler, and is very, very, yeah, very, very quiet as well. Uh, like many other of the high-end coolers on the market, there's so many of these days that you can choose from. And uh, I think, in general, now it's really coming down to which one you you like the look of, really, and really how much you value um, that little bit more performance. In terms of noise levels, many, many high-end coolers these days, I know of the same, they're just incredibly quiet, and the build quality in all of them, because you are paying a premium for a high-end cooler, build quality in all of them is just fantastic, and say, for things like the warranty, you've got many years on the warranty of the, of the actual fans. Um, yeah, I don't think the heat sinks get warranty, I don't think they can actually break unless you, like, slam them down on the ground, but, um... I don't think you should be doing that. So to conclude, R1 Universal, fantastic cooler, does look very nice and does perform very, very well with its seven heat pipes. So guys, thank you very much for watching. You'll find links to buy this product on Amazon in the description. You'll also find a link to CryoRig's website for this particular product. And there are many other affiliate links there that really do help out the channel. It's unbelievable how well they help out the channel. There's links there for Amazon, um, all, all Amazons worldwide, uh, G2A, for example, Instant Gaming, there's many, many there. And yeah, they really do help out the channel. So if you do click on them or bookmark them, that'd be brilliant. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Please feel free to like, comment, and also subscribe. And here, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.